Hello, I'm Brent Lowe, Superintendent of Butts County School here for the next installment of our Fireside Chat. Uh, today, today will be a per fairly short one and truth be told, it's probably going to be more beneficial to our parents uh, than anybody else in the community. Um, I just want to spend a little bit of time to tell you a little bit about a, an assessment that we do every year. Um, I'm not sure that anybody's really gone out and talked to you about it, so I want to talk to you about uh, the assessment that we call MAP. Northwest Evaluation uh, Association and it's their measure of academic progress. Every kid last week, uh, every student that we have uh, grades K through 11 uh, took the math assessment last week and this is our beginning of the year. We'll take it three times during the year. It's our benchmark test. We take it beginning of the year, middle of the year, and end of the year. Of course our beginning of the year is truly beginning middle of the year will happen somewhere around Thanksgiving and then our uh, end of the year will happen around the end of March, 1st of April. We do it then because we want to be able to get some information from this test if we need to remediate or um, to go back and reteach anything before the Georgia milestone. So that's kind of one of the ways we use this, uh, this assessment. But anyway, like I said, every, every student took it last week and so as you were getting your report sent home and, and your parents are seeing these math results, I just want to talk a little bit about how we utilize this test um, or this assessment. We, do, we don't want to, I don't want to have a test out there, an assessment out there that we're taking that we're not using uh, to better our students. So th this test when we take it, um, it's going to give your student what's called a RIT, R-I-T, a RIT score. Not sure if RIT stands for anything. I just know that's the, 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 the terminology that, that MAP uses. Um, this RIT score is, is gonna, gonna be a range and th th every student that takes, takes the test gets this score. And it'll allow you to see where you stand against students nationally. This is a national norm test. It is not necessarily tied directly to the Georgia standard. Now it does it does tie somewhat, but it, the, the reason that we utilize it is because it looks beyond the state and goes to a nationally normal. Once you are assigned this RIT score, it will compare you to other students across the nation that have a similar, uh, within a, a point or two of the same RIT score. And then it sets you a growth measure. So let's say that my RIT score, I took the test and my RIT score was two, 215. And according to, uh, According to past growth and, um, and trend growth, I need to grow to a 220 by the end of the school year. So my growth would be a five, per, uh, five point RIT growth. So every student that takes this test will be assigned a RIT score and a opportunity of, and, and will be given a growth measure. So they know right then to be at norm you need to grow by five points or whatever whatever it is for that ritual. So that's one way we utilize it. And, and I want to, to, to reiterate, every student will have this score and, and we're trying to, to begin to have conversations. So every student should not only know their RIT score, but they will also know what, what their growth uh, projection should be. So what they should score to be on normal growth. Um, kind of gives them some ownership gives our, our students some ownership, but also some understanding of the importance of this, this assessment. The second way that we really utilize this is, is when, when a this group of students takes this assessment, it gives them a learning, it, they fall on a learning continuum. And what that means, uh, just to, 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 to break it down to, uh, to latest term, what this means is if, if you score X on this test, but in the, in your taking of the test, it shows that you have a deficiency or a weakness or an opportunity for more growth. It, it kind of bunches the kids together. So if I've got a class of 20, and I always use this this as an example because it's probably the easiest. If I have a class of 20 and 15 of the, those students in this class struggle on um, fractions then I know that I can pull them in small group during my math time when they're working in small groups and individualized instruction. 
I can pull that, that group and we know that the skills that they have a slight deficit in is fractions, we can use our, uh, our resources to, to target those skills. And, and it does that for, for all the different, uh, different skill sets. So that's, that's the second way that we're really utilizing this test is, is it, as we find deficiencies or areas of growth um, within the, the bands, we can pinpoint it, group the kids together. That way we're not just throwing stuff at, at the wall trying to, trying to fix um, the deficiency we see. So just like I said, that, that's probably a very quick uh, and probably muddy the water a little bit for some of you. Um, I hope that, that that explains math and the way that we're using math. Um, I do know that each school, uh, you, you can talk to your, your students' uh, teachers and, uh, and they may send you to uh, 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 someone over academics at the school, but, but each school kind of has their own little mold of how they use it, how they use this information. Um, we also found that it's a, it's a pretty good predictor of how our students are gonna do on the milestones. So that's what I, why I said we try to finish it in April or before April so we can utilize a, that month of April to, to remediate anybody we need to. Uh, this is being uh, being recorded uh, on, on Thursday before we play Married Person. So tomorrow night we've got a big game at the hill, at Red Devil Hill across the road here. So I just want to end by saying everybody come out, uh, watch watch our Red Devils um, defend the hill against the Married Person Bulldogs. Go Big Red. Thank you.